refractive index of a glass slab. The refractive index of a material is a dimensionless number that describes how a light propagates through the medium. A ray of light that travels obliquely from one transparent medium into another will change its direction in the second medium. If I is the angle of incidence, R is the angle of refraction, then the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is a constant called the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium. Here we use the concept of real and apparent depth to determine the refractive index. Theory If a glass slab is placed in air on a horizontal surface and its bottom surface is viewed from top, it appears to be elevated due to the phenomenon of refraction. In case of normal observation, it can be shown that the refractive index of glass with respect to air is the ratio of real thickness of glass slab to the apparent thickness of the glass slab. A traveling microscope can be used to find the real and apparent thickness of the glass slab and hence calculate its refractive index. Aim To determine refractive index of a glass slab using a traveling microscope. Materials required A traveling microscope a glass slab, spirit level, lycopodium powder, paper, a marker, adhesive tape. The traveling microscope has the following parts eyepiece, objective, vertical main scale, vertical vernier scale. Horizontal vernier scale and horizontal main scale. First, find the least count of the traveling microscope. The least count of microscope is the ratio of length of one main scale division to the number of division on the vernier scale. Place the traveling microscope on the table. Now, Place a spirit level on the horizontal surface of the traveling microscope. Adjust the leveling screws if required to make base of the microscope horizontal so that the bubble in spirit level comes exactly in the center. Put a mark on a sheet of paper and place it on the horizontal platform of the microscope. Use an adhesive tape to stick it in place. The mark will serve as our point P. Make sure that the lens system of the microscope is vertically above the mark. Rotate the screw in front of the traveling microscope anti-clockwise to loosen it. Adjust the vertical position of the microscope and tighten it. For clear visibility of the cross wire, Adjust the position of the eyepiece using the rack and pinion arrangement. Do not change this screw for the rest of the experiment. Use the fine adjustment screw on top of the microscope to focus on the mark such that the cross of cross wires coincides with the mark on the paper. Note the main scale reading just before the zero mark of vernier scale. Use the magnifying lens attached to microscope and note the vernier scale division that coincides with the division of the main scale as the vernier scale reading VSR. Now calculate the total reading of microscope R1. Next, place the glass slab over the mark on the sheet of paper. The microscope will now be out of focus. Without disturbing the microscope setup, loosen the screw for vertical adjustment and gently raise the entire lens system upward until mark on the paper seen through the slab is sharp and clear. Tighten the screw. Make the fine adjustment. Take the reading R2 
with the main scale and coinciding division of the vernier scale. Spread a little lycopodium powder over the top surface of the glass slab. Make sure that the layer of powder is very thin. Now gently raise the microscope and focus it to see some of the particles clearly. Make the fine adjustment. Record reading R3. Now we have got three readings R1, R2 and R3. Calculate the real thickness of glass slab as R3 minus R1. The apparent thickness of glass slab is R3 minus R2. Find the refractive index of the glass slab as the ratio of real thickness of the glass slab to apparent thickness of the glass slab. Repeat the above steps two more times and record your observation. Find the mean refractive index of the glass slab. 